How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs. Now when we try to hang a heavy picture or mirror on the wall, this can be one of those projects that really stretches out much longer than you expect and the end results might not be what you're looking for. Now I'm gonna call in some reinforcements with decades experience in drywall and plaster and his name is Myron Ferguson. Now Myron literally wrote the book on drywall, which you can see a link down in the description, but specifically today he's gonna show you a few tips and tricks to hang that heavy mirror on the wall to make it a one person job that gets the results you're looking for. So let's jump into it. There's lots of things to consider. Like here we have two doors and I wanted it perfectly centered. I also wanted it not to be interfering with this switch and approximately even with the tops, it actually ended up just a little bit low. So all this has to be considered before you even think about actually hanging the picture on the wall. So let me take this off and I'll show you what I had, what I went through to get it just right. Well, the first thing you need to decide is um, how you're gonna actually fasten it. In my case here, I decided to put two screws into the wall. A lot of people go with just one screw, but that is a little harder to get the picture perfectly level. This is easier to get it level. But you have to consider the spacing of these screws if you want it divided up perfectly in this opening. So I actually had a stud finder and I found where this stud is. So I put the first screw in that stud. And now this other screw, there is no stud in this location. So what I did was I measured over the exact distance from this door frame to this. And that's what I did over here. I put this screw the exact same distance. If I didn't do that, balance them out, the picture would not be centered. So it's important to get these exactly the same distance from uh, each side of that you want, each side of the doorway, so that it's properly centered. This is the type of stud finder that I really like to use. It's made by Calculated Industries. It's called the Stud Mark. It's actually two magnets. It works because it finds the screw that is attaching the drywall. Slide it across the wall. So I feel it grab, and right there I feel it grabbing, and what it has found is the screw that's holding the drywall in place. So I know there's a stud there, and that's where I put my first anchor bolt. Where I want to put my second anchor bolt, there is not a stud, because you can see there's one here, and the next one would probably be way over here. So over here is where I actually had to attach a different type of anchor that's gonna hold this heavy mirror in place. This is a variety of uh, things you put in a wall to hold a picture up. This is just a very simple version. It's just something you do a little hole, tap it in, and then this drywall type screw holds it, goes in, and that's what you attach your picture to. But this is not very strong at all. Strictly stuck into the drywall. It's not really gonna hold a picture or a mirror as heavy as this. This is another option. It's pretty strong. Drill a hole, tap it in, and take a bolt with coarse thread and screw it into that. And that holds really well. But keep in mind, even this is just holding into the drywall. It's, there's nothing holding it from pulling out. So that's not something I used on this particular picture. This is another option. This is very strong. Same thing, you drill a hole. In this case would be about a half inch diameter. Push it through the hole and then it'll spring open. And then it just threads in to get it nice and tight. This would be very difficult to ever pull through the drywall. So that would work really well. But that is not what I used in this particular application. What I used here was this, which I consider a very strong um, toggle. It's made by Snap Toggle, called the Toggler. This, so you drill a hole about half inch diameter, push this through the hole, and then that's holding against the drywall and you push forward on this. And that pulls it tight against the drywall. Then you clip off these pieces here, just clip them off, and then this bolt, this threaded bolt, threads right in, because you can see the back of this has got a thread in it that just threads right in. So that is really solid. That's what I use in this particular case. The other thing that I need to consider is, because I have a, a wire in the back, I, in order to know what height to put the screws on the wall, I had to know when I put pressure on this wire, how far down from the top of the frame that is. So I took that measurement and I took that into consideration when I put my screws into the wall. I kept that actually a little lower to compensate, compensate for the slack in this wire. The other problem that you have hanging a picture with a wire like this is, see how as soon as I let go of it, 
it just clings to the back of the picture. So when I try to hang this on that wall, you can't do it by yourself. One person has to reach behind and pull that wire away so that it will hook on the screw and then it's really a trap shoe how you're going to get the other side attached as well. So I came up with this idea of what if I shim this out to hold that away? But then if I do that like let's say a piece of wood or something, it's going to just push the picture away from the wall. So what I did was I actually got some pieces of foam rubber. I just had an old mattress in the basement and I just cut like an inch and a half squares of foam. And I just put that behind the wire on each side and right away the cable is being held away from the back of the picture. And now when I hang this, they are just simply going to compress and the picture will be tight, tight against the wall and I won't have to worry about removing those little blocks. So now all I have to do is pick this up and slide it down over the screws. Right away, I could feel it grabbing the little screw, so it's nice and tight. Now, all I need to do is, is level it. Now, because I have two screws in that wall, it's much more stable. I may, am able to just move it around easily, and you can see how nice and solid it is. This is a really cool trick that made it a one-person job. I didn't have to get another helper to put their arm behind there and, and then just hope that it's hooked on that screw. This, this method worked really well. Now, if you guys have any questions, let us know down in the comments. Myself and Myron will be in there to help you out. Now, if you have a drywall project coming up, check out this video right here. And there's a really unique way that Myron uses a paint roll to put on joint compound that I had never seen before and can make your projects go much faster. So thanks for joining us on this video and we'll catch you on that next one. Take care.